The year was 1910. America and its industrial landscape were rapidly changing and growing. William Howard Taft was president. Ty Cobb took his fifth consecutive batting title with a 385 batting average. The first commercial air flight was flown by the Wright brothers from Dayton, Ohio to Columbus, Ohio. And in Bucyrus, Ohio, in October of 1910, P.H. Ryder founded the Ryder Brass Foundry, today known as Ryder Heil Bronze. America has changed and grown over the last 100 years, and so has Ryder Heil Bronze. But over its 100-year history, through good times and bad, two things have remained constant at Ryder Heil, a commitment to serving its customers and dedication to its employees. My name is Mary Warden, and I came to Ryder Heil to work in January of 1966, and I worked until I retired in September of 2008. When I first started here, I had the pleasure of working with Parmalee Ryder, who was the founder of this company. Uh, at that time, he was uh, of a good age. He came to work at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and he filed all of the drawings of the, all the bushings that we had made the day before, everything that was made and shipped. And he kept up on the company in that way, knowing what we were doing and who we were shipping to and so forth. The second generation was Alice and Charles Ryder, and uh, they ran the company, and Alice is the one that hired me. It was always about family uh, with the Ryders, and whatever you needed to do for your family, you took time to do it. And uh, they actually insisted upon it. And they were very good to their employees. Uh, if an employee had troubles, they had troubles, and they helped that employee. My name is Jim Quaintance. I've been an employee of Ryder Heil Bronze for 50 years. I am now retired. Everything that, that I learned over the years was taught to me by the previous owner, uh, Mr. Heil, who hired uh, us to take over when he bought the company, uh, Mary and Chuck and I. Uh, he instilled his beliefs and thoughts about the company to us, and they were lasting uh, ideals. My name is Chuck Kinney. Uh, I started with Ryder High Bronze in 1977 and retired in 2008. I was totally impressed when I made my first visit to Ryder High Bronze. I was impressed with the people, the uh, warm relationships, and uh, the uh, acceptance that they had for me, and uh, the boundary itself with the pattern storage that we're looking at right now that uh, uh, was second to none in the world. When it was founded in 1910, Ryder Brass Foundry supplied only unfinished castings to its manufacturing customers. As business grew and customer needs changed, Ryder Brass Foundry needed to expand, and in 1928, a machine shop was added. This provided the capability for the foundry to manufacture bronze bushings and thrust washers for heavy machinery and presses, and to finish them to customers' blueprints. Forty years of providing satisfied customers with high-quality bronze castings passed, and by the 1970s, Ryder Brass went through even more growth and change. The manufacturing area was expanded to 35,000 square feet by adding a new foundry and pattern storage area. Then, in 1979, Charles and Alice Ryder, who had managed the business since 1960, sold the company to their general manager, Raymond Heil. My name is Jackie Groves, and I've been an employee here since 1987. And uh, I'm following, I guess, in the footsteps of my father, who was an employee here for most of his adult life and uh, actually owned the company at one time and uh, retired from here. Uh, basically uh, was a chairman of the board until his death. So uh, it's kind of family oriented for us. My grandfather worked here and my uncle worked here and I have a nephew working here right now. This is my father, Raymond Charles Heil, uh, known better to the employees back then as Toots. Uh, this probably was when he was about 19 years old because he started here, as I said, at, when he was 18. Uh, this would have been in the, the first section of the building. Uh, it was added on to later. 
and uh, you can see back here the, the wooden planks that, that eventually you can still see out there in the plant if you go out there. Uh, sitting on one of the bearings that he had machined and uh, technically he retired at 50 but he was still around after that. Today, Ryder Heil supplies high quality bronze bearings, bronze bushings, bronze wear plates and bronze thrust washers for a wide range of industrial applications and Ryder Heil routinely supplies custom manufactured products in both small and large quantities and to exact customer specifications. My name is Steve Gruber and I'm director of the services division for Minster Machine. Oftentimes we'll get a call from a customer it's typically on a Friday afternoon and they're in a panic because they see the weekend coming and they'll call us uh, looking for a replacement uh, bushing or bearing uh, to keep their presses up and running. Uh, so we'll call Ryder Friday afternoon and say we're in a jam. How, how can you help us? And Ryder will work through the weekend. Uh, they'll do whatever they can, get us that bearing in a couple of days uh, so we can get it to our customer and get them back up and running. We want to be around 10, 20, 50 years from now. And we need Ryder Heil to be there with us. Hi, I'm David Nagusky, uh, Chairman and CEO of the Federal Metal Company, suppliers to Ryder Heil. What I think bonded us together, or has kept us uh, uh, together uh, all these years, was that there was a cultural affinity between the two companies. I know my grandfather, from what uh, everybody says about him, was a very uh, a tough guy to deal with and, 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 and was very uh, uh, particular about who he dealt with. And if there was a tinge of uh, uh, a lack of sincerity or there was an ethical, uh, any ethical questions in his mind, he dropped them like a hot potato. And he counted Ryder among his closest, al uh, closest customers and closest friends uh, in life. After a century in business, Ryder Heil is still located on East Irving Street in Bucyrus, Ohio. Today, the company's manufacturing space has grown to nearly 45,000 square feet. And Herb Klein, a six-year Ryder Heil employee and current owner, plans to carry on the company's mission of providing superior, custom-tailored bronze products to industrial clients throughout the country. I'm Herb Klein, I'm the owner of Ryder Heil, have been since September of 2008. Part of my attraction to Ryder Heil was dealing with the previous owners. I'd had about 15 years back and forth experience. I like the small town of Bucyrus, although not being intimate with the town, it's, uh, it's uh, reminiscent of my childhood background and where I came from, my roots, and it just was a very comfortable feeling when I moved here to Bucyrus. I'm honored to be the owner during its 100th year. It was my intention and always has been that I'll do my part to continue it for another hundred. And the people and the employees, uh, we have many that have been here straight out of high school. Some of them already 30 years and better. And to establish a rapport with the employees that would keep them at Ryder Heil, I feel has been one of the strongest uh, attributes that the companies possess. And as long as the customer can rely on Ryder Heil, then I feel Ryder Heil can rely on the customer to keep coming back. There have been a lot of changes over the last 100 years. Industrial and technological advancements, two world wars, times of economic growth and depression, and changes in the way we live, work, and communicate. Through it all, Ryder Heil in Bucyrus, Ohio, has continued to grow and adapt to the specialized needs of its customers. Over all the years and through all the changes, Ryder Heil has always maintained that its people, the dedicated and skilled workers who take care of customers' needs every day, have been the key to 100 years of success. <laughs>